What is up, guys? It's Razor. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. In the previous episode, we did the rest of the side quest that we could do up to this point in the game. And Lady, or Lady, or however you pronounce this, this region. So we're done with the side quest in this region. But before we head to Dusk Sky, which is the next region. Uh, we want to get some treasure spots around here before we head out over there. So let's get in our vehicle and go after them treasure spots. Here we go. That we haven't got already. We got most of them already, but there's a few I didn't get before. Let's see. All right there. Set over there first. Shouldn't take that long to get there. It's right over here. Let's see what we get. Okay, a green choker. Alright, next one over there. Then we got one over here, and then we got them all, pretty much. So we got two more to get. No roads, no rules. And no one to hold us back. Because all the other ones we already got already, so. Literally, just gotta get these other two and we're done. We can head to Dusk after that. Because we'll be pretty much, we're done with this area until we get more quests unlocked later on. When we get to some of the later chapters, it'll unlock more quests here. And we'll have to come back here. Okay, star pinned it. I'll take it. What is that? Prevent uh, poison or something? Probably. That's what it did in the other Final Fantasy games. Born. Let me just check see what it does. Let's see if it does the same thing as it does in the other Final Fantasies. Yeah. Poison. I kind of figured that's what it did. I probably won't be using it anytime soon. Now that I think about it, I don't think I ever equipped a... Black Pendant in any of the Final Fantasy games. Ready. Or a Star Pendant, I mean. Like, I think in Final Fantasy VII, I equipped it for a little while, just, just because I didn't have anything better, but, yeah, I just never equipped it. I never used Star Pendants. Poison's not really a status item that you need to prevent. Ain't, like, confusion, like, confusion of charm. And what are some other Final Fantasy Everything. status elements like Paralyzed, Blind, Silence? Those are status elements you want to prevent. Not Poison. Poison's not really that bad. Anyway, we're done here in Lady. Or Lighty, or however you pronounce this area. Now we can move to Dust Guy. And we can go ahead and teleport to Dust Guy as well. Since we've already been there. So let's teleport to this station over here. I 
That way we ain't got to drive all the way there. And I guess we can go do the Chocobo side quest, I guess. I don't see why not. I mean, our vehicle can go off-road. See, Chocobos were better before the off-road is added to the game. Uh, because before, you could not go off-road of your car. Until they added that in the patch. So when they did add that. They added the off-road to the car. It made the chocobo worse. Because you could just use your car to go everywhere. So it's. I don't know. It just feels like the chocobo. It's just not as good. The car is just outright better. But I'm still going to get a chocobo obviously. But. See you again. Just less useful. Alright, so we got some more music we can buy here. Thanks. And more decals as well. <clears throat> I'm gonna buy some repair kits too for them repair kit side quests. You can also buy fishing bait here as well. See you next time. Not really worried about that though. I think we already went to the diner, but I'll check again. Welcome. Could probably get an upgrade here though too. Grab some food before you go. What'll you boys be having? Wow, that's a huge attack boost. Holy crap. That's like OP right there. It is 1400 gil though. That's a lot of... I don't know if I want to spend 1400 gil. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, but I want to go sleep first because it's almost night time, so. Before I buy the food, let me go sleep. There is an RV in the area, I think. Somewhere. Yeah, here's the RV over here. Well, I guess there's a side quest we can accept first. Let's go over here and accept the side quest. Hey, it's Dave. Howdy. Just heard word of another lost tag. Don't know where you boys are headed, but would y'all mind picking it up if it's on your way? Final resting planes. Look for the dog tag. All right. It's also a side quest over here as well. Sonia. Sonia. Somebody you know? Spoke with her just the once. Back at Hammerhead. Now that you mention it, you were chatting someone up. She's real knowledgeable about wildlife. Could teach us a thing or two. Go on and introduce yourself. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. The prof the professor's protege. What's up, professor? Is it now? If you don't mind, I'm rather busy at the moment. Oh, it's you boys. Wait, who are you again? And what do you need now? N nothing. Hmm. You are saying you distracted me for nothing? This won't do. Won't do at all. Precious seconds down the drain. How am I to make up for them? Of course. You boys can help me. Uh, okay. That's the spirit. I was just thinking I could use a few extra hands. For catching frogs, to be precise. Wait, what? Frogs? Uh, and if you're thinking any old frog will do, wrong. You're not getting off that easily. 
Only the red frog native to Ulster suits my need. You'll need to get knee and elbow deep down at the slough. With that, I'll get back to my work. Remember, it's red frogs, and make sure they're fresh. All right, so I gotta go frog hunting, frog catching. What is this, Final Fantasy IX? I thought I was playing Final Fantasy 15, not Final Fantasy 9. Let's hope it'll be edifying. As and I'm pretty sure I'm not Queena either. To to Welcome to the Crow's Nest. What's on your minds? So, you think you're pretty tough, huh? Yeah, we already accepted them, alright. Alright, so now let's go with RV and sleep. Tomorrow, or the next day, I'll do the hunts. There's two hunts in the area that we can do right now. It's bedtime. Huh. It is bedtime. Gotta go to sleep. I ain't gonna deal with them daemons. Alright, let's go grab that food buff and then we'll go take out them hunts. Oh yeah, radio. Oh, we already did that radio though. Never mind. Welcome. When we came here, we already we examined the radio. I'm ready to take your order. When we came here earlier in the like, I think like ten episodes ago or something like that. I don't know. Whenever we came here. That's a lot of money, though. <laughs> but look at the boost you get from that. 200 defense and over 100 attack. Nice. You come up with a new recipe. Alright, let's go hunting, guys. Ready to go hunting. I like to get the hunts out of the way first because they're obviously like you can obviously over level hunts so better get them out of the way first and we're pretty much over leveled for the hunts as it is right now so here we go seat belts everyone Alright, let's take out this hunt. That over there in the water down there? That's a Kato Katoba Plus. Catoba pus. I usually just call it cattle bleep pus. Cattle bleep pus. Yeah, if you're wondering what that was, that's what it is. Alright, let's take on this hunt. And now, it is time for the Galloping Gorillas hunt. This hunt takes place in Duskai. This is the first hunt we're going to be taking on in Duskai. And my controller's battery is low. That's not good. Alright. Let's see. What are these things weak to? Alright. This one's weak to two-handed sword. Uh, we have the Kenny Solomon buff, by the way, so we have a huge attack boost right now. Okay, they're all weak to two-handed sword. Alright, 
Nice work, Gladio. Oh, hi there, opening. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, crap, there's Imperials here. Annoying Imperials. Goodbye. If I was just fighting the Gruulers, it wouldn't be so bad, but we gotta fight these stupid Imperials as well. Ridiculous. These guys are weak to spear. Crap. Alright, gorillas, you want to get. Take them out, guys. Nice. A lot of damage there. Goodbye. There we go. It would have been a lot easier if we didn't have to fight them Imperials, but yeah, fairly easy hunt at my level anyway. It's a little bit over leveled for that hunt. Would have been a lot harder if I wasn't over leveled, but whatever. All right, so we gotta take out some more Imperials, and then we'll go at the other hunt. Take out these Imperials. Get back, get back. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Alright, back in the vehicle. No roads, no rules. And no one to hold us back. Hopefully the hopefully the Imperials don't interrupt us over here. All right, next hunt. Get a little bit closer and then I'll start it up. All right, let's go. And now it is time for the beast wallow in the wetlands hunt.
You can find this particular hunt right here on the map in Dusk Eye. Let's take this hunt out. I don't know what these things are weak to, but I, I'll find out. Let's try a gun first. Yes, they are weak to gun. These things have a lot of HP. Wow. This might be a pretty tough hunt. Nope, not today. Nice try. Not today. Maybe he'll attack me tomorrow, but not today. Oh, that hurt. Come on, one more. Come on. Take it out, guys. Nice, got him. Would have liked to wrap that up more quickly. What? Only got A in time? Wow, really? I thought I did pretty good. Oh well. I'll take a day. Alright, so with them hunts out of the way, let's go ahead and return to... Oh, I guess this is where you do the professor's quest. I'll do that in the next episode. I'm not really... Actually, you want to go... Let's do it now. Since we're in the area. I don't see why we could, couldn't do it. I don't see why we shouldn't do it now. Alright, so her side quests are very annoying because... We have to catch frogs. And they're pretty hard to find sometimes. And that's a Katoba Plus. Katoba Plus. We'll be taking that thing on later. That thing is huge. Reminds me of them things in Final... The long gooeys from Final Fantasy 13. What? Except not as big. Well, I guess they're about... About equal. In size. Don't yeah. Alright, so we gotta find four more. Yeah, I really hate her side quests. Her side quests are very annoying. And you think this one's annoying? Wait till the next next couple ones. Like, like this one get this one's easy compared to the ones later. But they are still pretty hard to find because my eyes aren't the best. They try not to squash it. If you have good eyes, though, you should be able to find them fairly fast. But my eyes are pretty bad. Got it. Hey, it's sleeping. Get up, you stupid thing. Can't be sleeping right now. 
I'll come out there and hunt you down. No, we're not gonna do that. We'll we'll get destroyed. All right, so we found three of these things. Three of them things. Not. We should make haste. See where are they at? Yeah. Come on. This is really annoying. This game doesn't this game know my health plan doesn't include vision? I guess I have to ask myself, if I was a frog, where would I be? Nice work, not Alright, one more. If only I had 2020 vision. And if only I had glasses as well. I think I'd be alright if I had glasses on. I just never got around to buy glasses. I need to buy some though. Like no joke, I definitely need glasses for sure. I probably crawl, I probably passed the frog like a hundred times by now. Hey, the Katobo bus wake up. He woke up. Come on, where's the last frog at? I'm gonna be here all day, guys. Just how it is. Real nice here. The best thing to do is go to places you haven't been yet. And usually you'll find one. Oh, great. That's what we need when we're trying to find a frog. If I go up here, I can see it from a distance. It's only going to get worse later on, too. Unfortunately. Yeah, her side quests are just so annoying, man. The funny part is, it's probably like right in front of my face and I just don't see it. Like you guys are probably literally screaming at the screen, tell me where it's at, but I can't hear you, and that's just how that goes. You guys gotta tell me from the future where it's at. I'll find it eventually. Yeah, onward. Onward to help me find this frog. Hmm. 
just need one more. Come on. It's probably in these trees somewhere. That's the only place I haven't looked really is in in the in around these trees. Man, this is garbage. Yeah, I should probably just cut the video here. This is taking way too long. You guys have been waiting for like 10 minutes. Let me find this thing. Ah, the breeze feels good. Makes me want to take a nap. Imperial I still haven't found it. One eternity later. All right, yeah, I'll just cut the video here until I find the dang thing. It's being annoying. Uh, be right back. It took me about ten extra minutes, but I finally found it. Yeah, and you think that one's annoying? Wait till later. That should do it. <sighs> All, All right, let's return to where we were at. The gift of frogs for a lady. Uh, back to the. The rest area where we were at. Yeah, it took forever. Wait, is that items back there? Yeah. Let me grab these items over here first. Rock and roll. The hunt is on. <laughs> Get out the way. I go back to town. I suspect the hunter had his rest around here. Then let's hurry up and look. Cindy. Oh, there's a. Oh, yeah, that's right. Side quest for Sydney here, too. Well, I'll do it in the next episode. I'm not too concerned about it right now. This has been a pretty long episode as it is, so. I'll just do that in the next episode. I wasted too much time catching them frogs. Like literally, it's almost night time.
go ahead and park this bad boy. We gotta fill her up too. Ask around a little. It's up to Noct. Shall we shop a bit? Yeah, let's do it. Fill her up. And let's go turn in this stuff. Come with us, Noct. Turn in the hunts first, and then I'll go turn in the professor's protege. Welcome to the crow's nest. Um, game? Are you gonna load? Must have been a real doozy. No, it wasn't hard at all, actually. Nice work out there. All right, we get a warrior's anklet as well. And we got to rank three. You're the talk of the town. Let me get... Helidor's bracelet, nice. What's on your minds? How about it? Untamed wild horses. Go get them. Don't work too hard. <sighs> Had a good rest. Should be able to make some good time today. Oh yeah, and these uh, over here are mini games, but I'm not gonna be playing them right now. You can actually play the mini game though if you want to. All right, let's talk to the professor. Look at all these lovelies. Thank you, boys. Now my research can spring along. Research. From longer nights to earthquakes, there's been a lot of strange phenomena of late. The world's out of whack, and there's no end to the mysteries that want for solving. Mysteries like frogs. Yep, you see, red frogs only appeared recently. We don't know what gave rise to the mutation. But this tiny critter could hold the key to the world's mysteries in its webbed feet. Huh. Fascinating stuff, right? When can you help again? Couldn't say right now. Well, when you can, you let me know. For now, here's a token of my thanks for finding the frogs. You've earned it. Professor, whoa, a lot of EXP for that. Holy crap. Star Pendant. Oh, it's you lot. Alright, so I'm in the video here. In the next episode, we're going to head back to the other area. Since we're ranked 3 now. We can set up more hunts uh, in this area over here. So we're going to do that in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later.